good afternoon. Uh, let us uh, look into the another topic of uh, mechanical measurement subject that is flow measurement. Now, the flow measurement normally you are going to uh, uh, that means uh, some liquid is flowing in the pipeline. Uh, what is the uh, discharge? How much discharge? With how much discharge? Display that is meter cube per second. Units in meter cube per second. And how much velocity it is going? Velocity. It is moving. And uh, the different types of instruments uh, that is used to measure the flow measurements are venturi meter, and orifice meter, and orifice meter. And then rotometer, rotometer, and uh, uh, to determine the velocity of the fluid, pitot tube, pitot tube, pitot tube. We can uh, explain in, in the end. And apart from that, uh, flow measurement for uh, uh, open channels, open channel, open channel. Flow, uh, flow measurement. This open channel flow measurement, the epidural vein, vein, and uh, uh, triangular vein, like that. Uh, there are uh, the various uh, instruments, and uh, this unit you can take for uh, eight to twelve classes. Eight to twelve classes you can. And conduct this this uh, measurement subject uh, unit, and each class is fifteen minutes. And venturi uh, meter and orifice meter, uh, you can take roughly uh, three to four classes. And uh, these four classes, you can explain the uh, physics of involved in the um, uh, in this in these devices, measuring devices, and also uh, the mathematical derivations to determine. Uh, Q is that how much discharge the flow is taking place? That Q and uh, different types of how to manufacture this venturi meter. What is the make of how you are going to make this venturi meter, or what are the, uh, the parameters that you have to uh, decide? Specifications of this particular venturi meter, or what is all you can discuss. And uh, numerical plus theory. Numerical plus theory you can uh, discuss in three to four classes for venturi meter. And uh, remaining three to four classes, uh, we can discuss about uh, rotometer and pitot tube. And uh, rotometer and pitot tube, and uh, this rotometer and pitot tube also uh, discharge, uh, it means discharge and, and uh, velocity of the uh, fluid flow in the pipelines that you can discuss, and uh, mathematics and uh, uh, the physical loss and the loss that the morning is uh, phenomena of uh, uh, determining the uh, uh, discharge so that we can discuss. And uh, open channel flow, uh, we have uh, like a, normally a, a river, like a, a, from a rectangular block, a, a reservoir, the water is flowing and this, uh, this water will be going outside from these veins, trapezoidal vein and uh, triangular veins. So, with the help of uh, some uh, mathematical equations, mathematical uh, equations, uh, you can determine the amount of discharge Q, how much discharge is taking place for a given input uh, specifications. So, that all you can do there. And with this, uh, you can take some uh, two, two, uh, two classes of, uh, you can plot for this, and uh, you can extend the concept, and uh, you can see different models, and you can show. And different things, and uh, finally, uh, so venturi meter can have some other problems, or if I spread also, you can have some other problems, what are the problems are there? So, you can take two tutorial classes, two tutorial classes. These two tutorial classes you can give problems to the students, and the students will be solving, and you will be attending each and every student and uh, answering the, the questions, the doubts should be clear. And uh, one class you can go for multiple choice questions. Multiple choice, and in this, in this one, multiple choice questions you can uh, collect some 30 to 40 questions. 30 to 40 questions you can make 
uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, as a material uh, hot copies and uh, you can uh, dictate each and every problem uh, or you can read out the problem objective problem and then ask the student to answer and you can answer the question and explain the concept the answer giving the answer that's one question and also one test you can conduct test you can conduct for 20 marks so this is how uh, you can uh, plan uh, flow measurement in number four and uh, it requires you can take eight to twelve classes uh, depending upon the availability and each class is 15 minutes so that is what about flow measurement uh, in the next uh, the unit number five will be uh, determination of uh, speed measurement torque measurement uh, and other things i will see that in uh, next uh, next video Thank you for watching the video. And also in that uh, stain gauge, stain measurement also you will be seeing the video. Thank you for watching the video.